Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Hi, Inez. Hi, Jack. What are you doing? Nothing. Is that a birthday cupcake? Not really. And why does it have a candle in it? I like to set my desserts on fire. What's going on? Jack, I wanted everything perfect. You came in too early. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I'm I'm not dear this year. I'm grumpy Gus. Grumpy Gus. Talk to me. What's to talk about? Life is great. I applied too late for that promotion. The job got filled by an outsider. The outsider happened to be your late husband and I'm another year closer to death. Bring on the carbs. Formerly late husband, if we're being specific. Do you know what I've had to put up with this past week? Every meeting I show him a cost-benefit analysis and he tells me about playing connect the dots with your freckles. That is a game he never played. If he's not dead, it means you're still married. I got so angry I kicked my copy of Shaw's Man and Superman and broke the little piggy who had roast beef. But you're speaking in tongues now. It's the middle toe of my driving foot. The podiatrist put my foot in a cast. Now I can't even drive out to see you for two weeks. What am I supposed to do for two weeks? Finish Man and Superman. Oh, I did. It's the double whammy. I've got nothing to read, and I'm living the return of Martin Gare. If you need something to read, I'll order you a copy of Heartbreak House. Heartbreak House? Isn't that the story of my life? Yours is more Toe Break House. I'm sorry, I'm bringing you down. Go ahead, eat the cupcake. I'll just hobble to the kitchen for a rice cake. Dry and flavorless, like existence. What can I do to cheer you up? Stop being married to the dead guy and get me a new job. Looks like you're in for a treat. I have someone waiting to talk to us about just those topics. Who? Brenda. Your supervisor? Hi, Jack. It's good to see you again. Uh, hi, Brenda. It's good to see you, too. When Inez told me it was your birthday, I had to send you greetings. Thanks. Brenda, tell Jack what you found out. About what? Inez told me about your situation with her legally, formally dead husband's return. So I did some research, and I located a precedent case, Wagstaff versus Wagstaff. You see, the wife had disappeared for seven years, and the husband had her declared legally dead so he could marry again. Oh, I didn't know you were a lawyer. I, I'm not. I Moonlight is a film critic. That's the plot of my favorite wife, Cary Grant, Irene Dunn. What happens in the movie? Oh, it, it, it doesn't matter. Did the judge make him go back to his first wife? It was his choice. So in this instance, it would be Inez's choice. Well, exactly, except for one thing. It's a movie, not a documentary. But either way, Jack, I'll either be a widow or a divorcee. you do that for me? Even if it weren't your birthday. And here's some more good news. Because of the pandemic, we've got to cut corners, so we're dropping your company's contract. How is that good news? It means I'm unemployed. Yes, but you won't have to work for my formerly dead husband. I won't be working anywhere. Uh, maybe you will. Inez showed me your resume. All 30 pages? Not, not quite. I, let's say it got revised out of town. If you're interested, there's an opening in our accounting department. Since you already know so much about our books, <laughs> you'd be perfect. This is amazing. Do I have to move? Nope. For the foreseeable future, you can telecommute. But, but if you wanted to move closer, that would be okay, too. Oh, yes, I'll take it. <gasps> Wonderful. Happy birthday. Glad to have you aboard, Jack. But I've got to say, I was surprised Inez approached me about offering you a job, given our company's strict anti-fraternization policy. 
What? You know it. Anti-fraternization? Uh, I'm an accountant. Talk to me in numbers. It means no hanky-panky between staff members. You mean if I work for your company, I couldn't be with Inez? Nope. Happy birthday! We have to choose between our jobs and each other? I swear I had no idea. This is terrible! I know, Jack. <laughs>